debut of the 2019 Michigan Wolverines. Before I go any farther, hit the subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. It notifies you when I put up my videos. Probably the best decision you made since, I don't know, you got married or you got divorced. Whichever made you happier. When anyone says Michigan Wolverines, they immediately are talking about college football history. Talking about some of the finest players to ever grace a football field or even go in the NFL. Tom Brady, obvious. Charles Woodson. And many, many more because I know those are just a speck on the windshield of what you've done, what you've accomplished. Your great stadium. I'm going to have to tell you the truth. A year ago at this time, there was two teams that I picked to do very well. And they humiliated me. One more than the other. Y'all didn't do it as bad, but it was Miami, you know, the Hurricanes, and y'all. I looked at your talented defense with Rashawn Gary, Winovich, Devin Bush, and I... And I, I know you won 10 ball games. Okay? It's, it's not like you, you sucked and you were losing to the Red Hat ladies. I'm just saying, you look on paper at talent, and you look at the conference you're in. And I know the ACC, the ACC sucks, and I know they dominate it, but you also saw what happened when we played Notre Dame. Oh, by the way, you lost too. And what happened to Alabama? God, that's still funny. I know the media is in denial right now, and they're acting like it didn't happen, but that was only like, like six months ago. <laughs> to yourself. That didn't happen. We are enough. We are enough. 44 to 60. No! But I know the ACC ain't all that. In fact, your conference was one of the most unperform underperforming conferences of all last season. A lot of talent there but didn't produce. So I will have to take it easy on you. But at the same time, the talent that you had, there is no reason on God's green earth why you should have lost to Ohio State as bad as you did. Oh, that's the last season, Bobby. Shut up, Bobby. Shut up. What? Shut up, Rashawn Gary? That freak of an athlete? Shut up, Winovich? What's wrong with y'all? Devin Bush? Oh, y'all need better players? Y'all need a few more years? He's entering his fifth. Year as head coach, y'all oh, oh, need to maybe sacrifice some more money to the football gods? Extend his contract? I know I'm pissing you off, but you know I'm right. If you played in the SEC six years ago, not now, SEC fans, I just lost you, but if, I, if you played in the SEC six years ago, when at one time they had like three teams in the top five and it was actually legit and it wasn't all this blown up, blown up crap by a lot of the media, I could kind of understand, but you didn't. So when I open up all these books, no matter what they may be, preseason books, and I love them because I love college football, and I see you're ranked inside the top five, I go, what meth did they get a hold of to rank them preseason top five? I know you got eight coming back on offense. I know you got Shea Patterson. I get it. I know you got a good offensive line. Okay, I get it. But you only have five returning on the defense. Our team, we lose the best line, one of the best lines in college football history. And though we have a lot of talent coming back, I can tell you, because y'all lost a lot of talent, it's not easy to replace. When you get into the big games, you're going to need to chase Winovich to turn around and look at your team and say, boys, get that stupid look out of your eyes. Stop being afraid. We're going to play. You're going to need the Devin Bush. You're going to need the Rashawn Gary looking at them saying, hey, this is how we play football. But they're not there anymore. So why everybody has you ranked in the top five, I don't get it. And I'm not being, I'm not being a douche. Maybe I am. I'm not going to sit here and tell you whatever you want to hear. You return Shea Patterson, very talented young man. 
You got that People's Jones youngin coming back. Very talented. As I said, you got a, a, a decent amount of the line coming back. Very talented. Okay? Got most of your receiving core coming back. Collins is coming back. I mean, I, okay, I give it to you. I know you're sitting there as a as a Wolverine fan telling me how wrong I am, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I've seen how this has played out before. For any team, including them. And I know your history is great, and I know all the players that some of you are going to go in here, let me tell you, when Clemson was sucking, let me tell you how... That's not the teams that's walking out and playing this year for you. There's no Tom Brady walking out and playing for you this year. There's no Charles Woodson walking out and playing for you this year. At all. If they were, this would be a different video. So before you remind me of history lesson and talk to me about all your tradition, it's in history. We're talking about this year. And I respect it. I really do. But let's talk about this year. And if I seem a little pissed, I am pissed. Because this is one of those... This is. I feel like you're being shoved down our throats just like Arizona was during the 90s. Every year for about three or four years, Arizona was going to win the national championship. And they finish barely in the top 25. And I think you're going to do better than that. But I'm, I'm just... I, I'm being honest with you. I don't get it. I really don't get it especially after last year. I know some of you will enlighten me with your keyboard. That's fine. We'll wait. The season starts in a couple of weeks. I'm not worried. Very first game you play against Middle Tennessee State. Listen, I, I, I'm, I'm all four teams playing an easier game in the first week, first couple of weeks. I, I think the NFL gets an exhibition. I think the college boys, a lot of these guys are coming. I know we have early enrollment, but I, I'm, I'm totally fine with having a few easier games towards the beginning of the season to let guys gel together so when the big games come, everybody everybody's playing their best ball because I want to see the best ball games. So I like this. You're going to play them, I believe you're going to beat them. Very next week, you're going to play Army. Now let me tell you this. Army is not a piss-poor football team. They did lose some from last year. We saw what they did to Oklahoma. Took them into overtime. It was a battle in Norman. You will beat them. Just don't be looking forward. Or it can be Appalachian State all over again. Very next week you're off. It's not a bad thing. Once again, you're getting more time under your belt to be able to gel these players Bring them together. Find the leaders. That's fine. Week after that, at Wisconsin. Wisconsin's also off a bye. You know you're going to get better ball off of them. Uh, last year, I thought Wisconsin was going to be better. I was wrong. They will fight you hard. This is a toss-up game. If you go in there and you play around, you're like, we're Michigan. Didn't you read the books? They said, we're going to be good this year. You'll lose. I think you pull this game out. Very next week you play Rutgers. My five-year-old can beat Rutgers. You beat Rutgers. Week after that, you play Iowa in homecoming. Iowa's a game. It's is, is always a game you never know. You never know what's going to happen. I believe because it's homecoming, I believe because they're Iowa, uh, and Iowa always... I don't know with Iowa. It's weird. I believe you beat them. At this point, all the big dogs on TV is going to be losing their mind, talking about how you're back. There's going to be people screaming you're back just because they like to scream you're back, just like Texas is back and Florida's back and, and Mary Poppins is back and they're screaming. At Illinois, that's a piss bowl. You beat them. Very next week, at Penn State. Could you stumble? Absolutely. I believe you go late into the fourth quarter. I believe you beat them in Happy Valley. And then they go on depressive meds. Very next week, you play Notre Dame. You lose to Notre Dame. You're crazy, Bob. You don't know what you're talking about. I said you'd beat them last year. And you played against a guy 
at quarterback who's no longer their quarterback because he got replaced because he was not playing his best ball. And the very, very next week, after that great defense that you had last year, and I know it was last year, but it's not too far gone, they were owned by Ball State and barely got out of it. Barely got out of it against Vanderbilt. Don't give me that crap. You lose this game. Based off of the players who there's, who's coming back for them and who's coming back for you, you lose this game. I didn't say you got, got blown out. I say you lose this game. Play at Maryland. Maryland, I think they're going to be trying to rebuild. I think it will be a tougher game. You beat them. Very next week, you're off. Very next week after that, you play Michigan State. You're going to beat Michigan State. Michigan State has, has a way of messing up anything. You could give them a win on a lottery ticket, that ac accidentally drop it in a trash can. You lose it. You'll beat them. Very next week at Indiana. It's Indiana. You're, and no matter how hard they're going to play you, you're going to beat them. Very next week you play Ohio State at your house. You're going to disagree with me. You're going to talk to me about Urban Meyer. You're going to talk about Ryan Day and how he's not proven. You're going to talk to me about a bunch of stuff, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I still believe they beat you. Two losses. You're out of playoff contention. If I'm wrong, prove me wrong. Because last year I said you were going to be much better, and you went out of your way, and you proved me wrong. I'm not going to tell you this. I'm not going to tell you ever, ever stat about your team. I'm not going to tell you about your blocking scheme. I'm not going to tell you the circumference of your offensive coordinator's left nostril because that means absolutely nothing. You have the players coming back to run a good, solid offense, good, solid defense. It's just up to you whether you do it. Well, I'm Bobby Durkins. I'm so glad you showed up. Listen to me. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications. Remember, I'm Bobby Durkins. You keep showing up. Lord knows, I'll keep showing up. Bobby Durkins.